Derek Panamski from BayouBengalsInsider.com. 104.5 ESPN Louisiana Daily here at the LSU Football Operations Center. It's Thursday before the game. Obviously, the ramifications of the loss at Florida last week is still weighing on the mind of a lot of people in the in the public trying to figure out exactly what they could do to, to cure some problems on the offense. But inside the building there, they're, they're back at work. They're trying to figure out things. They realize they don't have much time to uh, kind of feel sorry for themselves with the third-ranked South Carolina Gamecocks uh, coming across the street in a couple of, uh, a couple of days to play uh, what is – Right now, uh, a humongous game, uh, not just for LSU, but for South Carolina as well. LSU's got some issues here. Offensively, uh, threw the ball 25 times, only caught 11 passes. That's, that's a bit of a problem. Along the offensive line, Coach Miles said last night, Alex Hurst has uh, missed some time with some personal problems. If that's uh, is something that prevents him from playing this weekend, you've got uh, Josh DeRossick, Lyle Collins, uh, P.J. Lonergan, who's been banged up, and then Trey Turner and Vidal Alexander as your five offensive linemen against what is going to be uh, probably, if not the, then one of the top two defensive fronts that you'll face all season. Certainly an arduous task, there's no question about that. Uh, but it comes down to execution. Uh, when these guys are given the opportunity to, uh, in, in the passing game, dropping balls and not prolonging drives, that's been a killer for LSU. Uh, certainly Florida's defense had some, some speed and they were able to, to, to get around and, 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 and really kind of cause some problems. But when LSU had an opportunity, uh, they, they, they had some drops, really costly drops, drops that would have extended drives and kept the defense off the field. Uh, when you only give up 14 points and you lose, that's a frustrating thing without question. Uh, but this is an opportunity for LSU's uh, entire team to come back and try to answer what was a, a lackluster performance last week. So what you're hoping for if you're a Tiger fan is that execution improves because you're going to see an awful lot of the same things you've seen in the past. But you hope that they can catch some of these balls, prolong some of these drives, give the defense an opportunity to rest because the only way LSU is going to win this game is if they execute that and come out with a close victory. For BayouBengalsInsider.com, 104.5 ESPN and Louisiana Daily, I'm Derek Panaski.